All right, so guys, this is the modification video on how to put these latches onto your generation one cooler. Uh, what I wanna show you first is this is the second generation and what they've done, of course, they've redone the moldings and everything here, but the thing I want you to point out to you is this latch, it's not under great tension. I mean, it's probably only about a quarter inch off. So it's not like you have to set this way above to get a lot of tension to keep this lid down. Now, the reason I point that out is so that when you install these latches, I don't want you to feel like you have to have this great big space and you really got to stretch these out. If you do, you're going to wind up probably pulling these screws out. So let's talk about the, the two different kinds. Now, at the end of this video, I've got pictures that I'll show you off of two different Amazon orders that I made. These are the smaller latches, and these are four and a half inches, okay? And when they measure four and a half inches, they're measuring from the bottom to the very top of the handle. The space between the bottom of the latch and the actual hole where that pin goes through uh, is only about two inches. Now, if you choose the smaller set, then they're going to be inset in this area right here, okay? The larger set is about seven and a half inches. Now again, that's from the top of the handle all the way to where it screws in down here at the bottom. So that would be seven and a half from the top to the bottom hinge down here. That is going to put that, if you'll take a look, right out here, okay? So that latch is gonna be up here. So at seven and a half, that's gonna put that right down in this area right here, okay? Now, there is no difference between the two. The longer latches will have more of a flush fit, you know, from top to bottom. If you take a look, this recessed area, see it'll be more flush. Where this one actually comes out around the lid and kind of creates more of an angle. It's just gonna be personal preference. I don't think one is better than the other and I think they'll both definitely work. Now, what I wanna point out to you is when you put these latches on, the first part you put on is this tab, okay? Now, if you'll notice, this tab has uh, a little lip on it. That's gonna go upwards. Also, if you'll notice, this lid right here, it's got a flat portion and then it tapers. So you want to make sure and screw this in first and get it right into the center of that. Also, you're gonna notice that this tab has a little, I'll hold it up kind of in the sun. See that little, little teat that comes out? What that does is that keeps this from being flush and it actually pitches it up a little bit. So I don't want you to feel like this tab has got to go like under the lid. That's designed to kind of give that an upward angle just a little bit, okay? So you want that. All right, so first thing you do, and again, you don't have to pre-drill holes. Here are the screws. They give you some stainless steel screws and you just screw them all the way in. And they're not too long. They're not going to come through the other side or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put down the, the top piece. Now, when you put down the bottom piece, you just go ahead and latch it and then stretch this down and get it in place and then mark it, mark the bottom, and then make that pull down maybe about a quarter of an inch. And that'll create just a little bit of tension. Again, this lip right here on this knob is going to keep it from coming off. And that way, you can push down the lid with one hand, give it a stretch, and it'll release. If you have the longer handles, you'll do the same thing. Put the tab in up here, put your base down here, get a little bit of tension on it, mark it, take it off, and then drill it in, and then stretch it up. So again, just a super quick, easy install. And <laughs> you can see here, I wasn't kidding. This latch system, it just snapped right off. And I've had a lot of problems with this over the years. I've had to use a heat gun because it wouldn't spring and catch anymore. This thing always came flying open when I went down the highway, when I was out on the water. I used to have to put a bungee cord across it to hold it down. It was just a real mess. But this is an absolute 100% fix. Real easy, real cheap. So if this helps you all out because you've got this first generation cooler, be sure and leave me some comments, give me some feedback, let me know. Uh, also, don't forget to look under my playlist under coolers and live well modifications because if you look in there, I can show you about how to put in that drain plug if you want and how to make some other modifications to your uh, your 
cooler as well. As far as converting it into an actual live well system, um, I've got a 12 volt battery that's in here with a 12 volt bubbler. Let me show you that real quick. This is just a super, super quick, easy modification. See that tracker lithium 12 volt battery? And then see that power bubbles 12 volt bubbler? That comes out and goes through these bubbler tubes and then they go in. Of course, this whole thing is turned around. It'll go in and those bubbler tubes will just slide right in. And what you can do is, for example, this will be switched, right? So this latch would be down and this latch would just stay unlatched or what you can do is watch, you can tuck this under like that and then latch this side. And what that does is it keeps most of your water, of course it's always filling up because you're putting new water in, but it leaves a void right here just a little bit so you can run those air tubes through there and they won't get pinched. Just a fantastic way. And again, I've got that video on my channel about how to put in this 12 volt system so you can easily, real super easy, uh, create a live well out of your ice chest with this first generation. So guys, um, this is Dalen. Guys, I appreciate all your support on my channel. Keep looking for other modifications videos like this. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug, if you're not aware of this, this is our trolling motor rack. And it is dead centered, super balanced. I've got a ton of videos on my channel. And uh, those are now for sale starting at the end of July, August 1st. Go to my um, website, it's oneoffoutdoors.com. Get signed up so you can be notified of uh, when you're gonna be able to purchase these. They're just gonna be an awesome system, completely, completely change how you fish with this uh, jet ski. And again, they're dead center balanced, right over the middle, so no offset weights, no worrying about that. I've got a ton of videos of me going 50, plus miles an hour going through six foot swells and you don't even know it's on there. It is just that well engineered and that well balanced. 100% heavy schedule 40 aluminum and these will be powder coated in a wrinkle black. You're just gonna love them guys. All right, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.